So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. And I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. And boy, I just, I just, did y'all see that Mike Tyson video floating around right now? <laughs> Dang, man. Listen, bro. Leave people alone, man. You know what I'm saying? Leave people alone. Man, on a plane trying to just, you know, just leave people alone, bro. Stop antagonizing them. Stop aggravating them, agitating them, you know? He gave you conversation. Then he gave you a warning, told you, dude, chill. You kept going, man. Now you viral. And I think that's what you wanted, kind of. You know what I mean? But anyway, listen, the next video we're going to get is uh, get into is the trail cam captures what no one was supposed to see. Now, trail cams are super dope to me because, uh, yeah, man, you can capture what's going on out there. You ain't even got to be present. He ain't got me out there. That's my type of camera. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be out there holding it like some of these people and getting close to the animals and like, uh, I wonder if he going to do something to me. Nope. Let me strap a trail cam to a tree and let me get up out of here real quick. That's that's my type right there. Hold on. Let me let this down a little bit. All right. We're straight. Uh-oh. Oh, too far. All right. We're straight now. All right. So we're going to get into this video, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the fam. Moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. Now run the likes up. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Here we go. Have exploded in popularity in recent years. People love nothing more than setting up a camera and then watching thousands of hours of foot footage of empty dark forest at night, I guess. But sometimes these cams can pick up some pretty wild stuff. Where y'all got trail cams at? I don't expect to see nothing of that on my trail cam. <laughs> From the Joker just have on a fake the unhappy witch to the clown that is seriously not funny, here's the 20 weirdest things ever caught on trail cams. <laughs> <sighs> Number 20. A strange creature. Out on this trail, these guys managed to find a real-life witch, and she was just chilling in the road, looking kind of unhappy. Maybe she just fell off her trail bike? Uh, what is a witch anyway, and why haven't I seen one in my local mall? One thing's for sure, this trail cam captured what no one was supposed to see. Witchcraft has historically been defined as the use of magic or supernatural abilities, generally for the purpose of harming others in numerous civilizations. <laughs> the power to cast a spell, a series of words, a formula or poem, a ritual or a mix of these, is perhaps the most well-known feature of a witch. Spells were originally performed in a variety of ways, such as by inscribing runes or sigils on an item to endow it with magical properties. Historically, the names witch and witchcraft were associated with evil. Most civilizations that believed in destructive witchcraft or black magic also believed in white magic. Practitioners of beneficial magic offered services such as breaking the effects of witchcraft, healing, divination, locating lost or stolen items, and love magic in these communities. They were known as cunning folk or wise people in Britain. Witchcraft was thought to be resisted in many ways by societies that believed in it. Protective magic or counter magic, of which the cunning folk were masters, was one popular method. Charms, talismans, and amulets, anti-witch markings, witch bottles, witch balls, and burying horse skulls within building walls were all examples of this. Attempts to stop witchcraft were often made by physically punishing the accused witch, such as banishing, injuring, torturing, or murdering them. In certain civilizations, witchcraft is still believed to exist. The allegations of witchcraft are used to justify various types of violence, including murder. In nations like Burkina Faso, Ghana, India, Kenya, Malawi, Nepal, and Tanzania, such instances are prevalent. Before we go on, hope you wrote all those places down. <laughs> like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the- I, I'm one of those people that think people still really believe in witchcraft. I think they do. And I think they really, really get into it. You know what I mean? 
Now, when you grew up, you used to have that, that house down the street or somewhere in your neighborhood where you thought that lady, that old lady in that screen, uh, behind that screen door on that screen porch, you thought she was a witch. I know. I had one in our neighborhood, too, that when you walk past it, you run past it. Yep. The notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Creepy clown sighting in woods caught on trail cam. There are a plethora of long articles on the internet that recount eerie images reported. Automatically think of Wayne Gacy, don't y'all? I know. So did I. Probably taken by trail cameras in the woods. Mostly they are about animals, but not many are to do with circus performers, except this one. A large, colorful clown approached the lens in one of the most famous trail camera photos. Trail cameras, sometimes known as game cameras, are mainly used by hunters to monitor animal activities. They're often attached to trees and set up to take photos and video when activity is sensed. SD or micro SD cards are often used to store media. A new pair of batteries may last a long time in a trail cam. They're made to endure the elements, including rain, snow, and high temperatures. For years, these clown photos have been widely circulated without any evidence of their origin. The first trail camera image captured a clown approaching the camera for a closer look. The clown was directly in front of the lens in the second trail camera shot. The images are... Pause right there. Imagine waking up yawning, pulling out trail cam footage, going through it and seeing this. What's your next move? <laughs> Put it in the comment section. From 2010 or before. Furthermore, they had nothing to do with the 2016 news stories about alleged clown sightings. They also look to be older than the majority of previous clown trail camera sightings on the internet. It's conceivable that they were meant to be funny at first, but they turned out terrifying. Maybe the individual in the photos was dressed up for Halloween and wanted to take some creepy photos. It's also conceivable that someone dressed up as a terrifying clown roamed the woods. We just don't know at this stage. Number 18. Unhappy campers escape lions at night. As he struggled for his life, a camper survived an amazing assault by a famished lion that pounced on his tent and attempted to devour him alive. While working in Prince Harry's favorite getaway of the Okavango Delta in Botswana, southern Africa, outdoor expert Gotts Neef, 32, was sleeping when he heard a disturbance outside his tent. The wildlife researcher described how he spotted the silhouette of a nose the fact that he's sleeping outside to where he could be accessed by lions and stuff like that. I want y'all to take expert off of his name. You know what I mean? I just don't, I don't consider him, you know, the expert in identifying where you should be sleeping at. You know, he shouldn't be no type of expert to me. Making its way inside the tent and struck it as hard as he could, unaware that he'd already enraged a hungry lion outside. Guts battled the famished animal on its final legs for five minutes, which was terrifying. Only the courage of colleague researcher Dr. Rainer von Brandis, who went semi-naked from his tent to face the lion armed only with a stick, rescued him in the tug-of-war struggle. Dr. von Brandis said, I guess then all he had was a stick. If I'm asleep out there and I know the dangers, I'm gonna at least have something more than a stick, bro. Take expert off his name. Yes, I was not a pretty sight in just a t-shirt, naked from the waist down, and wearing a head torch, screaming at this lion who was attacking my friend, the married father of two from Cape Town, is the Wild Bird Trust's research director, and he went on an excursion in Botswana with his buddy Gotts and six other researchers. He said, I heard Gotts screaming, there was something big outside his tent, and I ran out in the pitch black with my head torch on and saw this big male lion had collapsed his tent. Number 17. Great Horned Owl Attacks Rabbit and Coyotes Visit Kill Site 
This trail camera got incredible footage of a big, great horned owl capturing and killing a cottontail rabbit. A coyote reaches the deadly scene around sunrise after the owl feasted for many hours. A second coyote appears minutes later, looking for an easy meal. Watches deer, coyotes, skunks, raccoons, and feral cats examine this life-or-death scenario in Franklin, Wisconsin throughout the winter. The tiger owl, sometimes known as the great horned owl, is a huge owl that is endemic to the Americas. It is the most extensively dispersed true owl in the Americas and has a very flexible range. <laughs> Rabbits and hares, rats and mice, and voles are its preferred food sources, but it will hunt any animal it can catch, including rodents and other small mammals, bigger mid-sized animals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and insects. The Great Horned Owl was venerated by several Native American warrior tribes for its strength, courage, and beauty. Owls, according to the Paima people of the Southwest, are reincarnations of killed warriors that fly about at night. Mystic owl organizations existed among the Arikara people of the Great Plains, and novices were required to wear face masks fashioned of great horned owl wing and tail feathers. Number 16. Big Buck Comes Back like, That gotta be the first time probably even throughout school. I think I, I've never seen an owl eat something. You know what I mean? Never. Back to life. It's the first time him with that. That mouse in his mouth, that's the first time I've seen it, something like that. These hunters shot a huge buck and seemed to kill it stone dead, but like some kind of zombie deer, the big buck managed to come back from the dead and was spotted again 10 days later on a trail camera. Even though he shed a lot of blood, this huge beast managed to survive and maybe these hunters will think twice before shooting such an amazing animal next time. In modern English, the male deer is referred to as a buck, while the female is referred to as a doe. However, the terminology vary depending on dialect and the size of the species. The male red deer is known as a stag, while the male of other big species is known as a bull, and the female is known as a cow, as in cattle, yeah. In earlier use, a male of any species was called a heart if he was above five years old, while a female was called a hind if she was three or more years old. The fawn is the young of smaller species, while a calf is the young of big species. A very small young may be called a kid. A havior is a male who has been castrated. Deer may be found in a wide range of biomes, from arctic to tropical rainforests. Deer are found on every continent except Antarctica and Australia, although Africa contains just one native deer, the barberry stag, a subspecies of red deer found only in the Atlas Mountains in the northwest of the continent, with the exception of water deer which have long tusk-like canines that extend below the lower jaw. All male deer have antlers. Female reindeer do have antlers, but their antlers are smaller and less branched than male reindeers. Number 15. A tree chewed by beavers to the point it should fall over one of these days. Beavers are known as amazing lumberjacks, and you can see their work on this tree, which is ready to tumble and fall. Beavers are big, semi-aquatic rodents, endemic to the temperate northern hemisphere, belonging to the genus Castor. After capybaras, beavers uh, are these- They literally dem just about demolished that tree, bro. I ain't never seen that like that, man. Literally look like you can just walk over and just push that tree and it's going over. Second largest living rodents, they feature big heads, long chisel-like incisors, brown or gray hair, hand-like front paws, webbed rear feet, and flat scaly tails atop sturdy bodies. The Eurasian beaver has a long cranium with a more triangular nasal bone opening. Yo. Lighter fur and a slimmer tail always heard about the destruction they could do, but I've never seen it. Then the North American beaver. Rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds are just a few of the watery areas where the creatures may be found. They eat tree bark, aquatic plants, grasses, and sedges, and are herbivores. 
Beavers use tree branches, plants, boulders, and mud to construct dams and lodges, and they chomp down trees for construction materials. Water is held back by dams and lodges provide refuge. Their architecture generates wetlands that are utilized by many other species, and they are considered a keystone species because of their impact on other creatures in the ecosystem. Adult males and females raise their young in monogamous partnership. When they're old enough, the children will assist their parents in repairing dams and lodges, as well as assisting in the raising of newly born offspring. Beavers use scent mounds comprised of mud, detritus, and castorium, a urine-based material released by the castor sacs, to retain territories and identify them. Beavers can also- Yo, I thought he was pushing it over. <laughs> I thought he was pushing it over. He's like, alright, alright. That's enough. Now let me just tip it over. Distinguish their relatives by the secretions from their anal glands, which is just charming, isn't it? Number 14. Bonehead shedding his velvet at four years old. Going back to deer now and we can see the amazing moment a deer sheds its antlers. Members of the deer family have antlers, which are extensions of the animal's skull. Antlers are made up of bone, cartilage, fibrous tissue, skin, nerves, and blood vessels in a single structure. With the exception of reindeer and caribou, they are usually exclusively present on males. Antlers are shed and regrown every year, and they are largely used as sexual dominance displays and weapons in conflicts between males for harem dominance. Horns, unlike antlers, are two-part structures that do not shed and are seen on pronghorns and bovids, such as sheep, goats, bison, and cattle. The core of a horn is formed of bone, whereas external sheath is made of keratin, deer ancestors had tusks. Antlers seem to have taken the place of tusks in most species. The water deer, on the other hand, has tusks but no antlers, whereas the muntjac has short antlers and tusks. Musk deer, which aren't real cervids, have tusks instead of antlers. Each antler develops from a pedicle, a place on the skull where it attaches to the skull. When an antler is forming, it is coated in velvet, which is a highly vascular skin that provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing bone. Antlers and moose could act as enormous hearing aids. Moose have very keen hearing due to their big, highly movable external ears. The huge flattened antler functions as a parabolic reflector, according to a study of trophy antlers with an artificial ear. Number 13. Leopard Visit Cow they seem like an unlikely couple, but this leopard and this cow have become the best of friends. Which is especially good news for the cow. Imagine having that kind of protection. A non-sexual association between animals of different species is known as an interspecies friendship. Interspecies friendships between wild and domesticated animals have been recorded using photographs and video in several places all over the world. Animal domestication has resulted in interspecies friendships between species that would not normally coexist. Exactly. Which is is why I still don't trust this this whole friendship right here. I feel like you can't trust a leopard. It's like he's setting them up for the long game. In many situations of interspecies friendship, the species are seldom seen together, and in other cases, one is of a species that preys on the other in nature. Interspecies friendship is similar to mutualism in that it involves two animals from different species living in a partnership in which one creature benefits from the other's activities. Domestication, interspecies communication, mutually advantageous exchanges, need for social bonding, protection, and other factors all play a role in the creation of interspecies friendships. Protective behavior demonstrated by one species towards another may lead to interspecies friendship because it permits species to build a relationship. Interspecies adoptions, in which one species adopts another that is orphaned or injured, are also a common occurrence. Play may be a kind of communication between partners in which both parties recognize that the engagement is enjoyable and fun, as we can see with this odd couple. Number 12. Strange flying object hits a raccoon on my trail camera. 
This raccoon gets the fright of his life when some random flying object hits him during the night and it was all caught on trail camera. Many commenters on this video believe it was an angry fairy defending its territory. A fairy is a mythological being or legendary creature found in European mythology. It is a sort of spirit that is typically characterized as metaphysical, supernatural, or preternatural. Fairy myths and legends are a collection of folk beliefs from several sources, rather than having a single origin. Fairies have been portrayed as demonized angels or devils in Christian tradition, as spirits of the dead, as prehistoric forerunners to humans, or as spirits of nature, according to various folk conceptions. The term fairy has been given to a variety of supernatural entities with human-like appearances, magical abilities, and a taste for trickery. It has also been used to describe any magical creature such as goblins and gnomes at various times. Fairy has been used as an adjective in the past, with a connotation similar to enchanted or magical. It's also the name of a country from whence these creatures hail, the fairy land. The use of protection charms to fend off fairies is a frequent theme in fairy tales. Church bells, putting clothes inside out, four-leaf clover, and food are all common examples of such charms. Fairies were also considered to haunt certain sites and use will-o'-wisps to lure tourists astray. Fairies were also often blamed for illness, notably TB and birth abnormalities, before the arrival of modern medicine. Number 11. Rare Amazon Short-Eared Dog Caught on Trail Camera the short-eared dog, one of the Amazon rainforest's most secretive residents, has Another thing to worry about with the Amazon. Here we go with this. Finally been captured on film. These jungle canines, which are about the size of a fox, are very difficult to see. In fact, seeing a jaguar is significantly more probable than seeing a wild short-eared dog on a trip to the Amazon. Larry Reeves, a conservation scientist, put up a GoPro camera near a white-lipped peccary cadaver in late May. The decomposing, insect-infested body was found along a route near the Tambopata Research Center in southern Peru. Reeves braved the raging flies and rotten stink to position the camera a few feet away from the cadaver, wanting to catch what he'd heard was a king vulture fiesta. Reeves was astonished to see the jungle dog's dark, sleek figure materialize in the tape when he studied it. The animal, however, did not remain for long. It sniffs the cadaver and looks at the GoPro with apprehension before slinking away in the the footage. That kind of conduct isn't surprising. Renata Leda Pittman, a fellow researcher, adds they avoid cameras. Her experience with the dogs reveals that recording equipment with its flash. You can see it. It's like as soon as it turned and saw the camera, it was like, all right, I'm gonna slowly bow out gracefully and get up out of here. Try to maintain my mystique, you know? Flashing lights and related human odors makes them nervous. Number 9. Deer Missing Backstrap Deer are hardy creatures. You've maybe seen them walk about with all kinds of injuries, but nothing will have prepared you for this video. What strolled across the screen will completely astound you. It all begins with a deer poking out from the frame side. The buck advances, displaying the most bizarre injury ever seen on a live- Like it went against the animal and the animal almost had him. He escaped. Deer, he's missing the whole of his left back strap from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Oh. As he walks, you can see his shoulder shift. Both disgusting and ridiculous, you have to feel terrible for the dude, but that deer is a badass. It's possible he went on a quest that didn't quite work out at all. Deer have also been hunted by humans for thousands of years. Early hominids relied heavily on deer as a food source. The Sika deer was hunted in China, whereas the red deer was pursued in Germany. Reindeer was a major diet for Cro-Magnon humans in the Upper Paleolithic, and there are 90 depictions of stags in the cave paintings at Lascaux in southern France. Even when humans started farming in China, deer remained a major source of food for millennia, and it's probable that Sika and other deer profited from the often abandoned field sites. Number 8. Trail Cam Captures White Deer Wildlife wow. at Seneca Army Depot 
On the old Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York, the Seneca White Deer. I've never heard of I've heard of white tailed deer, but never heard of white deer. <laughs> Y'all made me go get a trail cam just to see what's lurking around my house where I live at. Deer are a ghostly presence. The perimeter fence surrounded a small herd of white deer when this ten. It's like a unicorn, bro. <laughs> like I've never seen this before. 1,000 acre station was built in 1941. These aren't albino deer, although they do have white fur due to recessive genes. Isolation from the outside world has resulted in inbreeding, which means they can't reproduce as well as they might. However, in the 1950s, the commander of the depot made it illegal to kill these deer, and their numbers have since risen to over 700 in this protected area. Despite the fact that there are so few of them, it is still the world's biggest herd of white deer, with nearly half of the population wearing full white coats. However, when the depot closed, the deer lost their military-grade security. Hunters and predators such as coyotes have posed a danger to them since then. Plans for amusement parks, industrial units, and even a jail were created for the site, but luckily a local businessman bought a section and converted it into a reserve for these unique and magnificent species. Thank you, Earl Martin of Seneca Ironworks, for helping to save these deer. Number 7. Trail cam captures tiny deer-like animal spotted for first time in the wild in decades. For the first time in three decades, a small deer-like creature about the size of a rabbit has been seen in the wild in southern Vietnam, thrilling environmentalists who believed the species was extinct. The silver-backed chevrotain, also known as the Vietnamese mouse deer, not, no, 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 yeah, yeah, I heard that, right? They believed it to be extinct, and what happened? Wow, it wasn't. But y'all want to argue, you know what? Not even gonna poke no more. I'm, let's keep going. It was last seen almost 25 years ago when a group of Vietnamese and Russian researchers took a dead chevrotain from a hunter. For so long, this species has seemingly only existed as part of our imagination, said Vietnamese biologist Anh Nguyen, an expert scientist with the nonprofit group Global Wildlife Conservation and a PhD student at the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research. Discovering that it is still out there is the first step in ensuring we don't lose it again, he said in a statement. We're moving quickly now to figure out how best to protect it. Number 6. Sumatran Tiger Climbs 4 to 5 Meter Pole to Eat Dinner this is the Sumatran tiger's incredible climb to grab dinner. As seen here in the Great Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo, Australia, the tiger's acute vision and hearing allow it to be an effective predator. The tiger is critically endangered and only has a population of around 680 individuals on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. The Indonesian Sumatran Tiger Conservation Strategy, published in 1994, that's so scary right there. <laughs> That's so scary. And we be knowing a lot of these animals can scale a tree. But we t I don't know if we forget. I know I do. I forget. And seeing that just makes me realize, like, no, you can't escape it by running up a tree, bro. He's coming after you. He's going to get you. <laughs> addressed the possible tiger catastrophe on Sumatra. By August 1999, STP teams had accessed 52 prospective tiger habitat areas in Lampung province, with just 15 remaining intact enough to host tigers. For the protect- And look at the way he scaled it. He didn't scale it like in this motion where we think he'd be, you know, trying to slide up the tree that way. No, his paws and stuff was around the front with his body, and he just went up it. He scaled it like Spider-Man, bro. That's that's insane. Action of Sumatran tigers and other endangered animals, the Indonesian Forestry Ministry and Safari Park formed a partnership with the Australia Zoo in 2007. The initiative involves attempts to conserve Sumatran tigers and other endangered animals in the wild, as well as efforts to prevent tiger-human conflicts and rehabilitate Sumatran tigers and reintroduce them to their native environment. Number 5. 
huge fat bear in northern Minnesota. The Voyager's Wolf Project has been using GPS collars and roughly 200 cameras for the last seven years to chron that bear gotta be pregnant. chronicle the astonishing survival methods that wolves use to survive the summer in and around Voyager's National Park. However, the cameras also catch other species in the area, such as a massive black bear that waddled across the picture one October day, its belly swinging from side to side, mere inches from the ground. Tom Gable, the Wolf Project's leader, said it kinda looks like a pig with hair. The bear was seen on a dirt road at Long Lake, a secluded lake south of the park and west of Crane Lake, with many cottages and an ATV trail network. Gable investigates one of the wolf groups that utilizes those pathways to go around the lake, so they set up a camera to record their activities. Number 4 I was waiting on him to say it, but he didn't, but that bear gotta be pregnant, fam. <laughs> like, come on. That's insane. What? Oh, like, I've never, ever. That look like the bear off of the Jungle Book, fam. That's, that's, no. White-tailed deer buck sheds antler on trail cam video, rare footage. Only a few individuals seem to have ever recorded a white-tailed deer buck dropping an antler on video. White-tailed deer bucks lose their antlers for a variety of reasons. It's usually caused by a reduction in testosterone as a result of the rut. When a buck's testosterone levels drop, the tissue and bone at the antler base deteriorates deteriorates to the point where the antlers come off. Antlers shed in January and February in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The white-tailed deer is a medium-sized deer that may be found in North America, Central America, Ecuador, and Southern South America as far as Peru and Bolivia. With a population of 5.3 million, Texas has the most white-tailed deer of any U.S. state or Canadian province. The coat of arms of Vermont has a profile of a white-tailed deer buck, which may also be be seen on the Vermont flag and stained glass in the Vermont State House. It is the national animal of Honduras and Costa Rica, as well as the province animal of Saskatchewan, Canada, and Perkanma, Finland. It may be seen on the back of the Costa Rican 1000 Colon Bill. Bambi's species was notably altered from a roe deer in the book to a white-tailed deer in the 1942 Disney film version of Bambi. Number 3 Trail Cam Films Large Bear Squeezing Through Buildings Crawl Space a huge bear squeezed into the crawl space of a structure in South Lake Tahoe, California, despite his massive bulk. The bear performs the Houdini-like trick before returning to the wild, according to Trail Cam. these fools is getting into crawl spaces? Why, yo! <laughs> no! No! I, I, and I don't put it past them because you've seen the videos. We've all seen the videos of them, like, opening doors to vehicles or, or opening a door and coming inside your home looking for food. Like, but I've yet to a crawl space, though. Yo, they just too much. Camera video taken on December 5th. He looked disappointed. Like, he ain't, he ain't get what he came for. To GCL. Now he's stuck. A wildlife photographer from the region put up the recording equipment. Still have wondered how B-33 gets his 500-pound body in and out of that 14x14 14 14 crawl space entrance. Sielch commented on Instagram, Well, it takes him two videos to get out, and at least three videos to get back in, says the narrator. Sielch installs trail cameras on a regular basis to document the antics of the local bear population and other natural natural animals, except in New Brunswick and the Northwest Territories where they are solely classified as a large game species, American black bears are classified as both a big game and a fur bearer subspecies in Canada. In Canada, there are around 80,900 licensed American black bear hunters. Male and female bears may be lawfully hunted in Canada throughout the autumn and spring seasons, while some provinces restrict the killing of females with cubs or yearlings. Number 2. Trail camera records video of Bigfoot near shelter in the woods. 
The world recently took notice of a Michigan hunter who set up camp in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and shot video of what some believe to be Bigfoot. Craig Salk, a hunter in Menominee, captured the mysterious creature on one of his numerous trail cameras placed up on his 80 acres of land. He mostly utilized the trail cameras to keep an eye on the wildlife that passed through his property. Salk didn't want to inform anybody about what he thought he saw on his cameras because he was afraid of being labeled insane, according to his wife Barb. Instead, he sought feedback from the makers of the Animal Planet program, Finding Bigfoot. They announced the next day that they will be investigating in Michigan. According to the New York Post, the filmmakers were blown away by Sulk's ability to get three images of the mystery monster. Number 1 First video of wild rare apex predator caught on trail camera in Madagascar. Fossa are mongoose cousins that are terrier-sized and have tails that are as long as their body. They, like other apex predators such as lions and wolves, perform an important ecological function in managing prey populations. Fossa, like many of Madagascar's animals, are unique in the world. However, scientists know very little about them, including the number of living fossa. They are uncommon, difficult to see in the wild, and lack distinctive coat patterns that would allow them to be distinguished from one another. A team of researchers from the United States and Madagascar spent seven years using trail cameras to scan Madagascar's biggest protected region, an area the size of Connecticut to discover how many fossa there were. They discovered that this location is home to a major percentage of the worldwide fossa population and is possibly the species' final refuge. Their findings give critical information that may aid in accurately assessing the vulnerable condition of fossas and laying the groundwork for effective conservation action. Do you have a trail cam? Has it ever caught anything cool? Uh, that's a good question. I need one. Because uh, y'all got me wanting to see what be lurking around my house at night. You know what I mean? Maybe it's some big, huge bear trying to get in a crawl space. Like, I did not think these fools would be trying to go through the crawl space to try to get inside your home, man. <laughs> like, bro, this is insane. That bear was huge. Do you see how he towered over that crawl space when he came out? I can't deal with them, fam. Bears is funny to me, though. I just can't deal with them, bro. Super funny. Y'all, listen, man. Y'all get at me in the comment section and let me know what you thought of this video, man. And do y'all have trail cams? And what's some of the craziest things that you've captured on it besides deer? I feel like that's what a lot of people are, like that I knew put them out for. It was just mainly like deer. But what did you end up capturing? I want to know. I'm curious. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned to the next one. I'm gone. Peace.